thank you so much for making time for me. I know this is an extremely busy time for you. So the fact that you made time for me, I so appreciate it. And let me say right off the top, I appreciate everything that you have done in this industry. You are a true queen, a true leader, a true groundbreaker. And I want to say thank you again for what you've done for broadcasting. Thank you very much for acknowledging that. That means so much coming from you. Absolutely. No, no, you you deserve your flowers. And the fact that you're still giving back because, again, you have such a busy schedule. And one of the big reasons why is as we speak this coming weekend, another groundbreaking event is going to be happening. You are in charge. What is going on? Rudy, we are making history. It is the Grand River Black Music Conference and Festival. It is on, thank you. It is Ontario's first not for block, not for profit black music conference. And so we're excited to dig in this weekend and uh, make history with all of you. How did this idea come up for you? Well, the I was asked to come on to what was called the uh, originally the Mel Brown Festival. And the premise of it was black music and education. So in my experience, having been in the music industry for 30 years, one of the things that really, you know, I wanted to always tap into was how do we help our black emerging youth beyond the mic to get the tools that they need? And so this year, when they asked me to be the festival manager, I decided, you know what, I'm going to grow another arm of this. And there was born Ontario's Black Music Conference. Absolutely. So exciting. So how is it broken down? What happens? Here I am. I'm somebody who who's coming to this. I'm not sure where I'm going each, either way on every day. So how is it all broken down? What am I going to experience? So Friday, um, so we have the conference portion Friday, June 14th to Saturday, June 15th. Friday, June 14th, you're actually moderating that. And we have four epic panels. Yes, we have four panels going on. One, the first panel is you know, challenging the dominance of record labels, right? Because we want to dive into the changes in the music industry, right? And the second panel is owning your own record label. You know, what is it about the industry now that we can tap into where we don't have to access that middleman? Also tapping into what is behind an algorithm? What are you purchasing when you are purchasing streams and bots? Is that going to make you famous? Whatever happened to the good old, let's contact someone like Rudy Blair and ask them questions so that we can get to the other side and put a face to the name of someone that can actually help us. Lots of fabulous things going on. And of course, we have in one room, the pioneers who launched hip hop in Canada. In one room. So you know, and a lot of them haven't seen each other in years. So this is also a family reunion. It is. It it absolutely is. Can you throw out some of the big names? Uh, just to, I don't want to give too much away because I want people to show up and be surprised. Because I know some of these people are people I have looked up to uh, for many years myself as well. Absolutely. You know, part of the reason I'm in broadcasting is because a lot of these people, including yourself, are, you know, in these panels and for me it's it's absolutely important and relevant to to be able to showcase all the hard work and dedication that you guys have done over the years to pave the way so of course let's lead with you and then we have michael williams master t for much music dj ron nelson I don't know how much more epic you can get than that. No, no, let's let's leave it. Let's leave it to that. But people should realize something too. Um, and I'll throw myself in there, and I'll even throw you in there too. Um, I don't think we've all ever been together in one room. So that's history itself, right? Think about this. I don't think it's ever happened before. Wow. I kind of thought so. And that's why I decided you guys should just stay the weekend because a <laughs> lot of the panelists and artists are saying, I haven't seen these people in so long. I just want to stay. So for an entire weekend, 
We've got activations happening downtown. We've got, you know, the Hollywood Walk of Fame vinyl stars. Everyone's got their own name throughout the city. Wow. Well, it sounds like it's going to be such an amazing experience. And you did mention about hotels. I mean, people should be thinking about not just driving down there for one day and going back. Um, affordable hotels are ready for them. They can stay the night. They can stay the weekend and really experience what is happening, which I consider a first of its kind. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're partnered with the Walper Hotel. And if anyone uh, wants to go to grandriverblackmusic.com, uh, they can absolutely get a discount on hotel prices. We're also partnered with Metrolinx on their Perks Passes. So if you wanted to get weekend oh. passes, yeah, you can definitely go to Perks uh, Perks 20 is, is the code. So come on out. All You can get uh, 20% off hotel passes all weekend. Julie Black's going to be there. She's our keynote. Uh, Tons of yes. activations. Tons of things going on. Now, um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to mention this, but there's a certain party that's happening later in the evening. Am I allowed to say something about this or is this a private kind of thing? I think you can spill the beans of it. Sure. No, you can spill it because you know more <laughs> about it than I do. I just know I'm going to be up in the microphone saying something about it. This is a black music festival and our partners are black businesses and we want to give back to some of our black businesses. So one of our partners is Mark's Caribbean Kitchen and they have graciously opened their doors to us to do a private industry party, which is something I've always wanted to do in this region and be able to sort of change the windows to look almost like much music. So we've got Michael Williams spinning. And Solitaire is going to drop a few tracks. Yes. And Zochi, Canada's queen of Afrobeat, she's going to drop a few tracks. And so it's going to be, it, you know, we've got tons of security, but coming out, you know, you can hear the music. You never know. We might just give you a VIP pass to come in if you're 19 or over. Now, the only way that's going to happen is you have to be involved. I know you just mentioned about where the link to go to and everything, but let's mention it again. Where do we go to get all this information? Where do we go to get passes, tickets, everything that we need for this amazing experience? Where do we go for this? Go to grandriverblackmusic.com. All the information is there, the panels, the conference, the, the evening showcases, you know, every activation that's going on is at grandriverblackmusic.com. And also they should follow on social media because I know uh you're constantly i think like two or three times a day um putting stuff up on social media talking about this so people really get a broad understanding of what is going to be happening yeah and we've got some serious sizzle reels that are that are going around on our social media as well that you know showcase yourself and michael williams and will strickland and we just wanted to sort of have that kind of much music mtv style because you know that's what you guys represent that's like that's the hardcore of our of our black music industry right there. So we just want to represent. So yeah, check us out on social media, uh, Grand River Black Music um, Festival and Conference. You can also check us out on Black Exposed Entertainment. Last question, and probably the most important question for you personally, from your heart, what do you hope that folks who take part in this, what do you hope they get from this when they leave? My dream is that Every, not just artists, it, it doesn't matter who you are, what color you are, take the valuable information, speak to the panelists like yourself, because you guys are here to teach and your knowledge is valuable. And without this knowledge, it's very hard for artists to really navigate their career. And my dream is to have every artist know exactly what they're walking into when someone says, Oh, I want to split royalties with you T to know exactly what their what their brand is about. So nobody takes advantage of them. We are here to help. We are a not for profit and we are a black collective. And Rudy, as you know, we are a family and family helps family out. And if you come, you're part of our family. Amen to that. Sandra, thank you so much for this interview. But more importantly, thank you for helping make this experience happen for not just the region, but we're talking all across Canada and North America too. I know a lot of people 
from across this great country are going to be traveling down to this. It's the size it is now. I can't wait till next year and the year after and the year after. It's going to get bigger and bigger. Congratulations and thank you again. Thanks, Rudy. Can't wait to see you there.